we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Leo the Great, a pope and a doctor of the church. Let us ask for his prayer and intercession for the church, especially for Pope Francis, for all bishops, priests, and religious. Also in this Mass, let us include in our prayer those who are taking the nursing board exam beginning tomorrow. Ipagdasal natin na sana sila ay hindi mag-block out. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never allowed the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, Grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I myself am convinced about you, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able to admonish one another. But I have written to you rather boldly in some respect to remind you because of the grace given me by God to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles in performing the priestly service of the gospel of God so that the offerings up of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, then, I have reason to boast in what pertains to God, for I will not dare to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me to lead the Gentiles to obedience by word and deed, by the power of signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem all the way around to Illyricum, I have finished preaching the gospel of Christ, Thus I aspire to proclaim the gospel, not where Christ has already been named, so that I do not build on another's foundation, but as it is written. Those who have never been told of him shall see, and those who have never heard of him shall understand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord 
has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praises. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do? Now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me, I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do, so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master commanded that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. There are so many things that we can reflect on this parable, but I just would like to focus on one, and that is accountability accountability you are holding someone accountable or we are being hold, held someone accountable implied in the notion of accountability is ownership it determines who is the real owner Dito sa parabola na ating napakinggan, maliwanag kung sino ang may-ari. The rich man had the steward. Yung may-ari 
ay yung mayaman. At yung isang tao ay katiwala lamang. Kaya nung nadiskubri nung mayaman na may ginagawang kalokohan yung kanyang katiwala, sabi niya, aalisin ko na sa'yo ang pagka, pagtitiwala ko sa iyo. Ibibigay ko na to sa iba na tunay kong mapagkakatiwalaan. So the real owner is not the one being held accountable. Accountability. I think we should strengthen that. Well, first, as a church, you are lay people, you deserve the service that the priests, the bishops, and the Pope can best give. You can hold your parish priest responsible or accountable. You can hold me accountable. If I am not doing my job, if your parish priest is not doing your job, it is your right and you deserve to hold them accountable. Kaya lang, siyempre, sa kultura natin, eh, nakakahiya naman yun, Father. No? Pari yan eh. No? Baka hindi namin mapagsabihan. Huwag po kayo mag-alala. Kasi bilang mga laiko and the majority of the church membership is lay, lay people, it is your right to hold the religious leaders accountable. Kaya kapag nakikita ninyo akong hindi na gumagawa ng akin tungkulin, lagi na lang akong wala, okay? Lagi na lang ko sino-sino ang nagmimisa dito, nasa si Father, nasa si Monsignor, wala eh, no? Then, hold me accountable. Tingnan ko nga kasi sino ang maglalakas loob, no? But seriously, no? kasi, Binubuo tayo ng iisang katawan eh. Pag nagkakasakit ang isang bahagi, ang buong katawan ang nagsasuffer. Eh ang bawat isa sa atin, bahagi ng isang katawan ni Kristo. But also, why are we not holding our public officials accountable? Why are not we holding our government leaders accountable? It is their duty. We elected them to be our servants. I remember the late Pinoy saying, Kayo ang bosko. Which is true. Ang bayan, ang boss. Pero bakit ang bayan, ang nahihirapan at ang boss ang ang sarap-sarap ng buhay. Bakit ang bayan ang nagtitiis ng pumila ng mahaba para makasakay papuntang trabaho samantalang ang dapat na naglilingkod ay rumaragasa, may hagad pa? Bakit tayo nagtitiis sa ganitong sitwasyon Samantalang yung mga dapat na naglilingkod sa bayan ang nagpapasasa. Because we are not holding them accountable. At ang misang katwiran pa natin, eh, pare-pareho lang naman yan eh. Pare-pareho lang. Parang tinanggap na natin na ganun. No. No. If the rich man held the steward accountable and removed from the position, then also we, as people, as Filipinos, should hold our peop- uh, go- uh, government leaders and politicians accountable 
And if they don't perform their duties, they should be removed. That is what elections are for. Every three years or every six years, they come to us ng liligaw, ang babait, namamansin, ngiti na ngiti, sapagkat nililigawan ng ating boto. That is the time for us to assert our right. We are holding you accountable for not performing your duties and we will not elect you anymore. Sana po ganun, ano? Nang sa ganun, hindi na lamang tayo paulit-ulit na ganito na naman, sila na naman, sila na lang ba? At anong nangyayari sa bayan? Wala. Meron ako nabasang article, ang sitwasyon ng Pilipinas sa kata- ka- uh, uh, karatig bayan, halos nasa hulihan na. Naiiwanan na tayo ng ating mga karatig bansa. Nakakalungkot. Sapagkat hindi naman tayo ganito dati. Now, it is up to us. We are the masters. We are the rich men and women. We have the stewards. They are our stewards. Should we not hold them accountable? Sana po. Sana. Nang sa ganun, hindi naman tayo napag-iiwanan. Amen. Please stand. We make our prayers to the Father who has called us to be faithful stewards in using the goods of the earth for the benefit of all. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be conscious of her responsibility to promote social justice in the community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That government officials may be worthy of the people's trust and may they not desire selfish gains in the exercise of their office. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That employers and workers may be honest and respectful to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be given the gift of patience in their illness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of their labors in God's eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our own particular needs as well as for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, help us to be faithful stewards of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, 
it will become our spiritual bread. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Leo the Great, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Leo the Great and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh, it's 
Please stand. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you.